These two animals, we cannot wait for you to see this bout. Mi nombre es Marlon González, eh, soy de Perú y estoy aquí para pelear. Hi, Manuel. Brandon Schaub. There are people out there who do know what an animal this guy is, and there are people who don't. Anvar Boy Nazarov. We're in for a treat. Yeah. I'm so excited for his fights. When we talked to Boy Nazarov, he blew my mind. He's, you know, he has over 100 Muay Thai fights, fought in Thailand, did that whole thing. And he goes, I've even been in fights where in a Thailand prison where I fought a prisoner. If the prisoner won, he got his freedom. I said, oh, man, did you let him win? He goes, hell no. <laughs> yeah. That's what type of animal you're dealing with. Yes. This guy is a savage, a glory kickboxer. This guy has over 100 Muay Thai fights on top of it. He's, he's going to be a problem. I have traveled to Southeast Asia to commentate some of the variety of connoisseur martial arts that he has done. He, yes, he was a participant a couple of times in prison fights, and yes, <laughs> at home, those of you who are listening who have never been exposed, it is exactly as Mr. Shop said. The prisoners can fight for their freedom against a professional athlete. Robin, how hard do you think those guys fight? I mean, come on, right? If you win, you get 10 years of your life back. This man would go in the prison to take those fights. And starch them. Yes, and <laughs> then he traveled over. I had the great gift to commentate an art form called Let Way. Let Way is also known as Burmese Baron Muckle Boxing. It is 800 years old at least, and uh, the it is bare knuckle. Uh, it is the art of nine limbs. You know, Muay Thai is eight limbs. Two yes. hands, two elbows, two feet, and two knees. Were we missing the, the head? The ninth limb is the head, yes. Wow. The diamond of left way. The uh, headbutt, totally legal. So this man fought in prisons, fought in bare knuckle fighting that allows headbutts, and only win by knockout. And uh, this is a well, this is exactly who Jorge Masvidal and Dean Toole are looking for here to bring over and expose to people who've never seen it Killers. Before. Straight yeah. up, yeah. killers. Anvar Boy Nazarov. This man was born for this. It's like a Sunday afternoon for him. Look at this guy. He's going to the store to get a loaf of bread, a container of milk, and a stick of butter, and then kill somebody. Absolute savage. That's Burjoy Datrishdan Charchadingsma. Odati Chagaralar Dan Chip Hamasun Uzgatrishna Hochlesma. Marafon Bet Site Yet, Ova Fatiat Sarpadam Tashdan, Oma Dings Nusna Kurin, Ova Halabatam and Husfeti. Marafon Bet Blan Hyotings Dagi Yangi in Kyonyat Larne Kashfeti. Staff coloring is no Shirishka, a Boshka Dergia, Uchgeta Yermuses. The Happy P. Holubler to Yosega Hush Philipses. Marafon Bet, Bisblan Uinang, Vahalaba Kozoning. Meet his opponent. Luis Gonzalez. He's out of Miami now, but proudly from South America. Biggest hands I've seen. Yeah. This dude has some meat beaters on him. <laughs> meat beaters? Whatever you want to call is that, it. Is that a thing? <laughs> I Do think so. Do even say that on kick? I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if our camera will get a, a view of it, but the, the second knuckle on the swear finger, for lack of another uh, way to put it, it looks like a talon. It's giant and gnarled. This dude has yeah. massive hands. His skeleton was made for pummeling other human beings into unconsciousness. And uh, he's a well-traveled martial artist in his own right. Very, very different. He's got the mindset for this. Uh, I asked him, do you know Anvar or Boy Nazarov? He's like, yeah, I hear he fought in Southeast Asia a lot. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. He's exactly the kind of guy okay. to accept a fight like this yes. and be up for it. My friends at home, I have a feeling if you do not know these two gentlemen, about 16 minutes from now, you're going to be favoriting this as uh, a fight to show all your friends. And you'll be looking forward to the next Boy has a raw fight. Yeah. You know, he, this guy is a true talent. Leaps and bounds experience-wise, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, over a hundred Muay Thai fights on top of all the MMA that this gentleman does. He's a real problem. We asked uh, Gonzalez, you know, and many of these guys, have you ever done bare knuckle? And they're like, well, not legally. All of them, yeah. not legally. Of course yeah. we have. And, and of course, Gonzalez has, Boy Nazarov has the professional bare knuckle experience in Southeast Asia in uh, Burmese bare knuckle boxing. But uh, Gonzalez is a handful. He's gonna be very hard to interpret for Boy Nazarov, and he is going to swarm him early. This one's going to be a lot of fun. And I loved it when I asked Boy Nazarov. I said, uh, "How do your parents feel about you fighting?" He goes, "My dad didn't support it. 
thought I wouldn't do very well. He goes over Muay Thai when it was he 20 years old. Yeah. Came up never, in that system. Never trained. At, never at, trained. At 20. Yeah. Got thrown into that environment, which you've been to Muay Thai. That I mean, if you've been to Thailand, Muay Thai is the basically the football in America. They yeah. live, eat, sleep yeah. Muay Thai out there. He just submerged himself in that environment. Comes out on top. Uh, just a real, real skill. Special treat tonight, to be honest. And Luis fought his way north all the way up to Miami, where he trains at the highest levels now. Uh, this is a beautifully matched fight. Dean Toole, we will mention his name out of love and respect, but also to let you know he is the number one, the very best matchmaker in the world right now. And I mean that including everybody. Agree, and you're, you're going to realize this tonight. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the bare knuckle and how different this is, but you're gonna we're gonna have a lot of conversations about mindset and psychology because shockingly that's what most of these guys talk to. Common us about. theme after talking to all these guys, again, they're veterans. Nobody, you know, it's not their first, second fight. You're talking about seasons vets. So the mindset of what separates these guys. They, they everyone has a skill, everyone can punch, everyone's a black belt and whatever you know, genre that they want, but the thing that separates them is the mindset. Let's take a look at how their attributes measure up. My friend Pauli Malinaji says, let's see if any of these attributes become advantages. And when you look at them, aside from experience, similar age, height, reach, you know, a little bit for Gonzalez, um, but like I said, you know, they are attributes. They're not necessarily advantages. Let's see how it plays out. The MMA record, of course, is a big one at play as well. Christopher James. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go with our next bout of the evening. This one is being brought to you by DeMesman and Dover, accident attorney and all-in management, and is set for three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. When the action starts inside the cage, our referee, Mr. Larry Downs, Jr. And now, let's meet our fighters. Introducing to you first, Fighting out of the blue corner, standing five feet nine and weighing in 149.2 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the cage with a record of five wins and three defeats. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, please welcome Anvar, the Uzbek by Nazara. And now, his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, standing five feet eight and weighing in 145.6 pounds. Tonight, he comes to the cage with a record of 16 wins and six defeats and two draws. Representing Young Tigers Foundation and fighting tonight out of Lima, Peru. Please welcome Luis Marlon Luis, the Peruvian, is not going to be afraid to engage anywhere, but don't be surprised if he tries to see about testing Anvar's full mixed martial arts game. That'd be my game plan. You see <laughs> yeah, you see a glory, glory experience on there in 100 Muay Thai fights. Go ahead and take this thing to the ground for a little bit. See if you can take his back. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Might be easier said than done. Let's see here. Yeah, you have to pass. Oh, Ooh, and He's Luis. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, it's over. It's over, Robin. It's over, but God, he's done. We told you to look out for this dude. And, and right in front of us, that was Brew Town. And he is still insane. Mellow. What, bro? What do we tell you? Boy Nazarov is a monster. Luis landed on him a couple of times, and then when he sat down that to throw knee, him, brother. At, Anvar defeated gravity and launched that knee, deployed it. And I can see, actually, Luis touching his own face. Um, he's still down. That was bad. Yeah, he's still down. And, and uh, The shots when he was down is what yeah, did it. Yeah. I would have liked the ref to stop it a little earlier, if I'm being dead honest here. But, you know, teach its own. Maybe his angle wasn't great, but... Luis still in a bit of Boy Nazarov, I'm telling you. Yeah. Mark this down, write it down. Text it to your buddies. This guy is the next big thing. Yeah, to already conquer Southeast Asia, be traveled in some of the most hardcore connoisseur fighting in the world, and then work his way over. Mixed martial arts? Sure. How about bare knuckle mixed martial arts for Jorge Masvidal, game bred bare knuckle MMA? This is where Anvar Boy Nazarov belongs. 
Good luck whoever fights that dude next, man. Boy Nazarov is a problem. I have no doubt we're going to get a replay sooner than later. Oh, I can't to wait. see Luis up. Flying knee, of course. Woo. That might have been all you needed. Okay, let's take a look. This replay brought to you by Steak. Luis lands, left hook, and big. Boom. Oh. Watch so this watch. knee. Look at the timing of this Luis knee, Robin. Twice. Look, watch this. He lands, kind of yeah. wobbles him. Luis will get down on it right there. Yeah. Down. Up. Boom. Holler. Still there, but not no These more. are what That's did it. it. This is the damage here. Obviously, the knee oh, wobbled no, him, and then he sir. finished him off with the ground and pound. Remember, folks, we tried to tell you when Boy Nazarov was oh. walking out. This oh. dude beat up prisoners who were fighting for their freedom. What do you think he was going to do in Orlando? Look at his nose, too, from the side. I mean, that's not how the human nose normally looks. He's now starting to let it out. He was stoic and cold, but now he's letting it out. That's a scary dude with a perfectly round head. Yep. I was reading, he hasn't taken the mouth guard out yet, just in case he's got to fight somebody else. But, but He's ready to go a few more yeah. times tonight if yeah. anyone wants to see them hands. But he did say, this is my home. He started looking around and feeling his, his skin on the, on the canvas. He's going to be tough to beat. Yeah, he's he going to be tough to beat. You wanna, you're talking about world-class striker. Yeah. World-class. Yeah. That was spooky and exciting. Scary. I Being am, this close, Robin, yeah. I, I, this is the closest I've been to someone getting knocked out like that. That was intense. I'll be completely honest We're with you. We're going to get a couple more looks at that replay. I have no doubt. And uh, when you do, take a look when you see it again. Take a look when Luis's feet go. His full weight starts to sink into his feet. And it's at that part point that Anbar launches himself to deploy. High the level read. High level yeah, read. Exactly. In the exchange, he gets clipped. Boy Nazarov gets clipped. He resets. <laughs> In the timing of the transition, when he's about to engage and throw another heavy combo, That's what flying he knee. Yeah. Lands it. Yep. In, uh, world class stuff. Yep. Good world to class. see Luis Gonzalez up. Let's have Christopher James announce your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Larry Down Jr., steps in and calls a halt to the bout. 13 seconds into round number one for your winner by knockout. My man, congratulations. You just got a highlight knee knockout of someone under the banner that knows about knees. My man, how are you feeling with that? Yeah, I feel great. I feel like I'm at home, you know? Again, one more time. You know, I was fighting in Thailand, 100 Muay Thai, in Latvia, in Burma, you know, in Thailand, prison fights, uh, and kickboxing in Japan, China, everywhere, in Europe. Now, finally, I'm here, man. I feel like a home. This, this was, what you know, this is a break knuckle, break knuckle MMA. I love it. I love it. 13 seconds, can we see you back in this uh, cage really quick? Yes, this was, this was planned, you know, I was working this long work with my coach Gokar here, my main training partner Patrick, my brother Ali, you know, Wayne's here, bro. I feel great today, you know. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you for support, thank you for opportunity. A star has just been born, Anvar Boy Nazarov! It wasn't quite the Jorge flying knee, but it was damn close. It was damn good. If I'm at 145 pounds, yep. probably going to lay low for a little bit. Watch, he eats two. Now watch when his man sinks in, Yuck. Bink. It actually glances off the temple, you'll notice. Correct. It wasn't right. a flush shot on right. the chin, just to the side there. I am going to take that one. It's going to be all over my Instagram uh, tomorrow. A gorgeous piece of display of weaponry and sophistication and raw violence. Boy, this is game bread, <laughs> bare knuckle MMA, baby. Touch, touch, and... Boink! Every play brought to you by Steak.